Well, when I met Victor, he was taller than he told me he'd be. But I didn't let that bother me. I stuck in there anyway. And even though he was better looking than I was and had more hair, you know, I didn't hold that against him either. And uh, the thing that impressed me the most was that he was very serious and very thoughtful about what he was doing and very focused. He was focused on what he was doing. He wanted to get into the head trip, you know. He wanted to know about the psychology of it. He wanted to know about the emotions. And uh, that was relatively easy, you know. Anybody who's been through it, uh, it's there in the memory banks. You don't want to recollect it every day, but you're never that far away from it. Victor is pretty good. He's athletic. So he's already picked up a lot on this year on his own. So the physical stuff and the mechanics of it, mm, I'm not too worried about. We're going to do some finesse, a little fine tuning. It's the head trip, the psycho philosophical, emotional, spiritual. See, the idea of courage, and this is the big part, courage is just facing your fear and working through it. You see, everybody's afraid. And the only difference between a coward and what we call a hero, or somebody with courage, and is can you face the fear and go into it anyway and go through it in order to get out of it. It's a simple thing down through history. It comes to do with excellence and mastery, overcoming obstacles, being the best you can, uh, Doing something with your life the time you have that will exceed or persist after your life. To add something to the mix, the famous quote by Newton that if uh, I've done anything good or if I've seen beyond the horizon, it's because I was standing on the shoulders of giants. <laughs>